Do you really struggle to predict what the price is gonna do? Hey, welcome to the party. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why predicting the price really doesn't matter at all. Hey, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. In this video, I wanna talk about really the backbone to my personal philosophy as a trader, and that is trade what you see, not what you think. Now, what do I mean by that? We're gonna get more into that, but really at the end of the day, to me, there's two camps of traders. There's two mindsets, kind of two core strategies of what you're trying to accomplish. So let's talk about those. The first one is just gonna be those that predict. You now you can call them speculators, uh, you know, anything like that. Gordon Gecko fell in this camp. Now he was very good at this camp because obviously he had inside information, but there is predict and then there is react. And this is the one that really gets, you know, you hear people say react, maybe right now you're thinking, well, that sounds like a terrible strategy. I wanna be able to predict the price, not react. Well, that's what I wanna get into. That's what I wanna really break down um, with some simple shapes and some mathematics and show you why I personally I'm all about this. I'm not a good predictor. Uh, predicting, uh, you know, at the end of the day is truly guessing, is truly, um, I don't wanna say gambling because there's, you know, things you can uh, use to, to try to leverage the prediction in your favor. However, at the end of the day, a prediction is a guess, unless of course, again, you, if you have inside information, then yeah, you would be a very good predictor, but I am not, so I prefer to react. And what you're maybe thinking is, well, th that makes no sense. You're, you're reacting, you're missing out on things. Well, let's take a look at a basic shape here. And what I wanna draw is just this bar. And this is gonna represent, let's just say a price moves 100%. This is just to keep the math simple. So in our predicting camp, yes, predicting people are gonna be down here. And what do they get? So we're also gonna assume that everybody plays it perfectly. No matter what camp, what uh, you know, core strategy you use, we're assuming everybody plays it perfectly. So if you are in the prediction camp, congratulations, you made 100%. Well done. Now what happens if you're over here in the reacting camp? Well with the reacting, let's say we need some sort of confirmation. We wanna at least know something's going on. We wanna see something. Now the predicting people, they were doing, they, they were thinking. They were you know, thinking, you know what, I think something's gonna happen, and hey, they were right, 100%, great job. For me, I wanna see something happen first. So I see something happening, and let's say my C and confirmation all comes at 20% into the move. So I'm looking through uh, my charts and my scans, and all of a sudden, wow, you know, this stock is up 20%. It's got good volume, it's you know, breaking through key prices, all this stuff that I use in my strategy. It looks good. So from this point on, I play it and I make 80%. So yeah, did the react people, did people like myself that are looking for confirmation wanna see something happen? Did they make the whole 100%? No, they didn't, but they still made 80%. They were still able to pull profits out of this move. But what's the other thing, kind of the hidden thing that these people were able to do? They were able to limit risk. What do I mean by limit risk? Well, maybe you're a step ahead of me and thinking, well, wait a second, Clay, what about the, you're just assuming that something actually happens. Exactly, what happens if nothing happens? These people, the, you know, I think something, something will happen. Well, what happens if they think wrong and nothing happens? They have all their money down here, nothing happens. Now, depending on how liquid the stock is, uh, so if it's you know a, a big board stock that does you know hundreds of millions of dollars, fine, they're just gonna hop right out. But if this is some sort of penny stock or some lower liquid stock, they could very well be stuck. Because remember, just be, you can always buy shares, but if whether or not you can sell them, you know that's a totally different ball game. So they very well could be stuck or in uh, you know penny land, a bag holder. They're just sitting there holding the bag. They thought something would happen but nothing ever did. Now, these are the people that, you know, they, they make fun, you know, I get, uh, you know, one of the big things that I get thrown in my way all the time is, well, why don't you predict something? What's the, what's the price gonna do tomorrow? Blah, 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 you know, in terms of, why don't you use a chart, technical analysis to predict the price? Yeah, maybe some people are really good, I'm not. I just use the chart to react because 
in this case, when you think something happens, how much are the React people out? Did they have any risk? No, they, they didn't even know this stock existed at that time. They're not losing any money. They're not holding any bags. Whereas by waiting to see something, okay, sure, they're losing out on 20% of the move. But to me, losing out on 20% or any percent of the move to get that confirmation that actually something is happening, to see something, that is well worth the risk. So depending on uh, you know, what you think sounds better, again, maybe you're saying, you know what, go big or go home. I wanna, you know, I wanna trade based on what I think will happen, what I'm assuming will happen. Uh, then that's fine because you very well if you're right then you're gonna be able to pull out a much bigger profit But if you're thinking you know, I'm not a very good predictor uh, I'd rather just limit my risk wait for confirmation wait to see some sort of price action Then you know what? I think I would like to react to things then so be it This is gonna be more of the camp that you're in so uh, for me. This is what it all comes down to is uh, I'm not greedy. I just want some profits, but I'm also very uh, aware of the risks that are out there and I'm just not comfortable with that risk to put money into something Remember there are no guarantees unless you're Gordon Gecko have inside information, you know have Bud Fox working for you There are no guarantees you could very well become a bag holder and I don't want to become a bag holder I want to be able to you know have bag holders You can probably absorb a, a few of these in your trading career, but after a while uh, your, All your money is gonna get stuck and it's just not gonna work out. So I react I use charts to react and to me, I think that makes the, more, the most sense the, because of the function, the way it limits risk. I mean, let's be serious. 100%, 80%, you know, 10%, 5%, 6%, that's fine. I'm willing for those sorts of gains all day long as long as I can get the confirmation and see that something is actually happening. Now, a very good example of this is a trade that I just uh, recently performed where I thought, I assumed, and it actually cost me over 200% on the trade because I was thinking and assuming something would happen. There is a link to that down below in the description box. So definitely check that out. Uh, and you can see an actual example of how me thinking got me into to trouble. I didn't see what, uh, I didn't see anything happening that should have made me take action. I assumed and I thought something would happen and it ended up costing me over 200%. So again, that link is down below. Check that out for, a, for a, a, unfortunately for me, it is a, a real life example that happened, but uh, presents a very good uh, learning opportunity. Now again, I offer many trainings and courses on how to you know, become kind of a quote unquote reactionary trader. I totally understand that doesn't sound very good to be reacting, but now that you understand the way risk is limited from the get-go by reacting, hopefully that doesn't uh, sound as bad as a, of a term. But that's what I teach in my courses, so you can go to claytrader.com and check those out if you want. But either way, at the end of the day, I just want to more explain this because a lot of people out there think that the only way you can be a good trader is you have to be a good predictor of prices, and that's just, uh, there's nothing further from the proof. I would argue that you have to be good at reacting, you have to be good at finding stocks, getting confirmation, and then partaking, not thinking, not speculating, not trying to predict in order to capture some entire move. Pieces of the move, I'll take those all day long. Any questions, comments, please leave those below. Uh, click the like button, uh, I really appreciate that and that goes a long way uh, in letting me know that you find these videos helpful. So thank you for watching, get out there, try doing some reacting for once and see how that works out for you.